How was um, NASA cybersecurity affected by the shutdown? Renee, that sounds like a good one for you. Uh, okay. Um, you got to be confident, Renee. <laughs> Well, we ordered things. We ordered things in, in risk priority and, and to a tolerance of coming back for the first day. So Renee Wynn, NASA CIO, um, and please let me get to my car every day. I like to go home, because I and I don't intentionally like to torture anybody, um, but we do have to protect your data, and we have to protect the integrity of all the data that NASA gets and shares, and that is our main driver in cybersecurity, is you and our name, our reputation, which is through our data and the science, and engineering, mathematics, and technology discovered through that. So while we were shut down, cybersecurity in the most part was fully functional. And I say in the most part because we also had to think about funds conservation. And so while cybersecurity is important, there are things that are more important than other things. And so the order that we took was roughly this. One is our security operations center, which is always 724-365. No snow stops them from coming in and taking care of and monitoring what's going on in our networks. They would research incidents, and we had, on average, an incident a day. Please stop losing your devices. <laughs> that was a public service announcement there. Sorry. And, that, and so our monitoring capability maintained its presence. And then Patch Tuesday, thanks to Microsoft for that, but it helps all of us communicate, we are issued a series of patches and they come in what I'll call tiers. Every high and critical patch was pushed out to this agency. And so that we would then be able to deal with small elements of functionality and we held back on what's considered our medium and low priority patches. Patience, those will come, but we felt we always had to have in our mind protection and your first day experience. So then the other piece that we had is our website presence, is that we left our websites up until they posed a threat to the agency. And over the course of our 30 plus days, we took down 35, maybe a little bit more websites because their public presence, their certificates, that tell us something about their posture expired. And so we took them down because the information on it wasn't critical to shut down or to, uh, to a certain active function in the agency. And those are now being worked to either bring back up or do something else with. And then the final uh, thing we had, or actually a couple of different things is, we had software that was expiring in the agency every single day. And we don't have a centralized way to know this, but what we knew, and if it supported accepted activities, we worked with procurement to put that put right, the agency right by that license. Why is that a cybersecurity issue? If you don't have a license for your software, you're not getting the patches. And we get fixes every single day for all the software that we do. So we just prioritize the highest things to remain in the most protective uh, posture that we could. And I'm happy to say that at least yesterday's scan by the Department of Homeland Security, we had no external facing critical issues. And so we got through, in my opinion for now, we got through this really well, but there's a lot of work that is backlogged that we will be pushing out to the user community, my client community, as you guys are, and just ask for your patience as we do that. So that we took a very methodical approach to use our resources wisely and to protect our great reputation. Thanks. That's not my microphone. Oh, you just <laughs> hang on to it. Um, a couple of things that are important to, uh, to recognize. And this is true for everybody in the room and everybody who's watching you know, across the country. Know this. NASA is one of the, it is the most attacked agency in the federal government when it comes to cybersecurity. Friends, we need to be very vigilant about everything we do online. Every email that you click on. I don't know. Do you want to do a public service announcement? <laughs> Just do this. Follow the guidance that you get from Renee Wynn and everything will be okay. But know this. Uh, across the world, there are governments that are very, very interested in what we're doing because technology ultimately determines the balance of power on Earth. And we are doing things that are very, very advanced technology and there are people who would love to use it, not for the benefit of humankind, but for their own power purposes. So just keep that in mind as, as, uh, as you go about your daily lives.